I encounter one example after another of how relative truth is. Ruel Wallenberg was a Swedish diplomat who risked his life to save thousands of Jews during the Holocaust. Wallenberg gave them fake passports to avoid being deported or put to death. I chose this topic because he saved thousands of people, and he was one of the only people to stand up to the Germans at the time of the Holocaust. Wallenberg was born on August 4, 1912 in Stockholm, Sweden. His father died of cancer three months after he was born. When Raul was six, his mom was remarried, and was remarried again in 1919. After graduating from high school, he went to be in the military. He was in the military for nine months. He was recruited by the U.S. War Refugee Board on June 1944 to travel to Hungary. His task was to do whatever he could to save Jews in Hungary. He arrived in Budapest on July 9, 1944. He led one of the most extensive and successful rescues during the Holocaust. His work with the WRB and the World Jewish Congress helped prevent thousands of Jews from being sent to killing camps. By July 1944, nearly 440,000 Jews had been depart deported. Nearly 200,000 Jews remained in Budapest. Wallenberg and other diplomats organized fake papers and safe houses. The fake documents were called Schutz Passes. He put his own life in danger to save Jews in Budapest from being killed or sent to factories. He went to death marches and tried to save as many people as possible. Every life he rescued was very important to him. On January 17, 1945, he was arrested in Budapest by the Soviets after they took control of the city from the Germans. Today it remains a mystery of how he died, but his legacy will forever live on. Rule Wallenberg's integrity and determination was outstanding for one person to have. He managed to save thousands of Jews. Wallenberg was reported to have died on July 17, 1945 in the Soviet prison, but this was not proven. George Bortz. He was a block of charisma walking with a heart so enormous that it could not find a vault big enough to contain it. Kayla Kaufman, USA, mother of two and grandmother of seven, and great-grandmother of three and counting, was saved by Wallenberg. After her escape from the Nazi slave labor camp, she found a shelter in Budapest set up by Wallenberg. He saved her life, but what is forever etched in her memory is observing Wallenberg at a railroad depot in Budapest, saving Jews from deportation to death camps. He was more than heroic to me, he symbolized humanity. The Ruhl Wallenberg Memorial Park is located in Budapest, Hungary. This park commemorates all the work that Wallenberg did to protect others, many of which were Jews from deportation to extermination camps. Located in the park is the Tree of Life. This sculpture remembers the 5,000 victims of the Holocaust that were buried nearby. The willow tree is a traditional symbol of mourning. People leave stones under the tree to remember the dead. Every individual leaf is engraved with a name from the Holocaust. The granite slab at the center of the sculpture has two holes cut through it in the traditional shape of the Ten Commandments. This represents the absence of the Ten Commandments during the Holocaust. Wallenberg saved thousands of people while putting his own life at risk. One survivor said that his determination and integrity was so astounding for one person to have. Another said his heart was so big that there was not a vault big enough to contain it. Wallenberg's death is a mystery, but his legacy will forever live on.